Hey everyone, and welcome back to Tech Tip Tuesday. Today, I wanna to show you guys a simple trick in Angular that you can use to create your own two-way data bindings with your custom components. So basically something similar to ng-model. So what I have here is a simple counter component called a two-way binding. And at the moment, I simply have an event handler, an output called number output, which is setting the counter value property of my parent here to the event value. And I've also got an input of the counter value. So essentially what I've gotten here as well is an input which I can use to override my counter value. And here we can also display the parent component counter value. So when I run the app, it looks something like this. So this is my initial value, 1337, and I've got a counter and I can click the buttons in my counter component here, plus or minus to increase decrease. I can also override it using this input. So that's pretty, pretty cool. I mean, very basic, right? So what do I want to do here to, how can I convert this kind of input output structure into a data binding? Well, it's very simple. All I have to do is change the name of this number output to number change. And with this syntax, I have my number input and my number change output. The only thing that I need to do now is change the HTML in my parent component to this banana syntax. I can remove my event handler. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. My app should work the same exact way. That's pretty much it there. I mean, it's a very simple thing to do to make your code a bit more lean, you could say. And it works with any type of uh, structure. So I can actually rename my variable here to uh, something like my counter value, counter number, let's call it. And then I have to rename my output as well to counter number change. And it's still gonna work exactly the same way. In fact, WebStorm has already updated here my directive key. So that's pretty cool. You can just change the name. Yeah, and you can construct your own custom two-way bindings with that syntax, simply adding a change to the end of your input variable and creating an event emitter from that. So I hope that was useful for you guys and see you in the next tech tip.